treetop windmills, the first low-cost home vertical windmill solution for the residential market. Built in the USA, USA tough to withstand the northeastern storms of Massachusetts and over the country. Here we are, here's Bob's treetop wind turbine and here we go. And today we're having gusts of like 10 miles an hour and as you can see she's spinning away at the top of the tree, she's about 85 feet up and the wind's coming in from the north, east, northwest and she's just spinning away. As you can see she's at the top of uh, one of my pine trees the beginning of my treetop wind farm and here you go she's slowing down she's four feet tall with a three-foot radius three-foil wind, wind turbine using an automotive style alternator that's a permanent magnet bolted to the tree and that's my little perch so I can work on it and there she is, spinning her little brains out. The treetop windmill is a very simple design. It utilizes a hub, a Delco alternator that's converted to a PMA, uh, a Gilma belt with uh, adjustable drives. And here is the simple tree mounted design, simply bolted on, put the hub on the top with the uh, wings, and off you go. As you can see, we've uh, simulated on the back of a truck here. Uh, very simple to uh, set up. Here's it assembled, and this is the one that was in the future video in the beginning that you saw running on the top of the tree, and has been working beautifully without any shield or cover on it for the last two months and gone through a couple northeasters. Here we're ready to do our test drive and test our device in the back of the truck and you need a helper to do that. You want to keep both hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. And here we're ready to get ready to give my thumbs up and on the back of the truck we're ready to go. And this is how I was able to develop it, build it, manufacture it in less than three months and this has been great and works beautiful. People have asked me, Bob, how's your wind turbine going to survive in uh, severe storms? Well, up here in Boston, Massachusetts, December um, of 2010, we got hit with two northeasters back to back with winds in excess of 80 miles an hour in the Boston area. And then on the site of my wind turbine, it hit 50 miles an hour at ground level. It took a hit. It, it worked beautifully. I never had a problem with it. Um, I couldn't say enough about it. Uh, the product... Uh, didn't make any noise. It helped the tree stabilize due to one of the design features is it acts like a gyro and the tree doesn't move half as much as the other trees. It just worked. Um, no cover on the alternator, the belt drive in the uh, environment and it did a great job. I couldn't ask for anything better. Here are some uh, pictures of the uh, upgrades of the new wing design that we developed uh, with me and my brother and the all aluminum hub and almost uh, complete aluminum construction of the uh, tree mount and everything. Uh, as you can see, they're uh, very well together, put together. Uh, the wings are all assembled and riveted. And here's my brother, uh, hand fitting them all uh, on the uh, arms. And uh, everything else comes disassembled, and you just assemble it, put it together. It's a nice clean installation. Uh, my brother's a fabulous fabricator and race car builder and driver. So as you can see, uh, we kind of take pride in, you know, made in the USA and this is what it's about. So here is the final product. Uh, these wings have increased our power output by a good 30%. Uh, much light, much, much, much lighter than ones that are in the uh, video part of the portion of this. Um, and they just really work. Now what we're doing is we're painting them uh, green to fit the tree. Uh, I'm building one for a um, beach house that's going to be a nice blue with some seagulls on it. Um, and we're developing a nice roof mount. that Nobody makes a nice ro roof mount for the home uh, market. So um, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, and like I said, built this video to show you. So I hope I answered the questions. If you have any problems, just call. feel free to call me at 781-588-3968.
and ask for Bob uh, East Coast time or check out uh, my other YouTubes and uh, or email me. Thank you very much.